I'm going to do a quick recap of how to use the Boolean union feature in Lightburn because this seems to be a significant stumbling block for people. So I have an ornament and I have a name. Now, in order to use Boolean union, you have to have two objects, okay? And in this case, I have this object and this is a group and I have this object and this is also a group. It is important that they are grouped together like this or it won't work. So I have this name and it's touching the inside edge of this ornament shape. I select the ornament and shift select the name. In this case, it doesn't really matter what order. I could just drag select them and then use Boolean union. And that will create a union of those two shapes so that now the name is fused in with the ornament. What people most often do instead is they click weld and that is this button and their text disappears. And the reason it does that is because weld doesn't really look at this group and this group as two separate things. It's just kind of looking at all of the shapes that you gave it. So it's more like this one over here where this is not a group. It's just this circle and this circle and this name. Now, if I take this inner ring and this text and I try to Boolean union just this inside circle with the text, the union of them throws the text away. <clears throat> That's not technically what's happening. What it's actually doing is it's creating the union of the two things that I fed it, which are this circle and that text. And if I say union those, you can see that it's keeping the overlap of both. So the text and that circle and where they overlap, it keeps, or sorry, where wherever either one exists, it keeps it. <clears throat> And so that's basically what happens if you try to weld this shape with this, uh, with this ornament is Lightburn says, oh, well, they're really only touching here. So these are probably the ones that you want. And it does the equivalent of a union there, which is not what you were intending. So if you grab the whole ornament, make sure that it's a group, make sure that all the shapes are closed and the name, select both, and union that, that will work. As an alternative, you can actually subtract this shape from just this shape. And if you do that, if I say take this shape and subtract this shape using the Boolean difference tool, it will also work because it's now cut the text out of that inside ring which is very much the same as if you union the text with the entire ring. Hopefully that makes sense.